Hey, hello everyone, my name is Breeze. In this video, I will show you how to use Wago PLC. This one, uh, it is a uh, 6750-8215 to uh, start up a CAN open network by using their X4 CAN open interface. And then I will show you how to configure it and how to connect to a sensor that support CAN open. I hope you like this one. Let's start. In this part, I will show you how to wire the Wago PLC to the CAD open sensor. Don't worry, it's very easy. You should handle it. We will use this X4 CAD as the CAN open master interface. Reference to the menu, the pin 7 is CAN H and pin 2 is pin is CAN L. So what we will do, you can use a, you can buy a 9 pin uh, female uh, port and then connect just using so the pin 7 and pin 2 but i'll show you a good thing that's i will use these uh, connectors that with a terminal to wire into each pin so what you need to do is just if you in this tutorial i use pin 7 and pin 2 so i just wire the cable in here and then connect to the other five terminal connectors these connectors here is can h signal can l signal and 24 volt supply for the sensor so I want this one first. So for 24 volts, it's very easy. Here is the Wago PLC, my Wago power supply, plus minus. Just me a second. Here, I think here. Okay, let's do it. This plus, yes. And then here is minus. Good. And then connect to your these connectors to the Wago X4 port. Okay. Now the master side is finished. So next part we are putting uh wiring the sensor size. As I mentioned before, we will use this Zara. It's a German company. They have a sensor that support can open interface is DSR can zero be a temperature sensors. You can you need to check the data sheet for you know which actually what which pin is using for what their the features. And here this M12 connectors. I also connect these four cables to a five connect five terminal connectors. Here is a 20 volt supply and can add and can H and can add. So what's the next step? You can just um, uh, connect it together, but I'll show you a other good things. It is a uh, device net hub made by Amnon, uh, but I also use it in CAD open because it's just a five terminal to short black to black, uh, blue to blue something. So what we need to do is just connect the center side to one side. And then connect the master side from Wago to the other side. That's it. But, sorry, that I'm not a professional. Then professional, so I cannot wire in the sensor very beautiful. Wire the cable bay beautifully, but it works. Now in the in later, I will show you how to configure and program it in the Wago PLC to start up a can open master. Hello, in this part I will show you how to use the Wago PLC software EcoBit to config a can open master and then but also the um, can open sensor. Here is our Wago PLC, I turn on the power and now the cable. This cable is connected to my PC. We will use this board to download or upload the older software and hardware corrections. So let's open your EcoBit software. Bef before you scan your networks, you go to the network tab and setting to make sure that your power, your adapter is connecting, but I don't know why I don't have one, just a mistake. Let me disconnect my cable to connect again. Okay, let's disconnect it, connect in again. And then use ping. Just me a second. Okay, now 
that's connected. Don't worry. Go again. Network tab. Set settings. Okay. Now you can see this one more interface in the settings. Apply it and press the scan button to scan the network inside that you're connecting. If you if there's no any error, you should see this PLC and with this module is scanned inside your project. Okay, oh good, you see now I scan a one device in our in our projects. So what we need to do is select it and then apply all. If you press apply all, then the completions will scan that you scanned will be uploaded to your projects. Okay, so all oh good. Now you see the PFC two hundred G two for Ethernet can USB is scanned. So there's for what's the four ETH is in they have four ports here. You see one, two, three, four. And USB is mean this one. It's black one. It's USB. And then can is just can open interface. Good. Okay, the, now the next step so you need to import the EDS file that from the manufacturer. Um, go to files and uh, product uh, product catalog and import device. Then you can you choose the EDS file to come from your manufacturer or from your sensor maker. Then then import to your system. Okay. Then how do you import your after you import the ETS file inside your system? Then how to drop your device into your network? So go to the product catalog. It's in your right hand side, and there's a search area. Then just search can. Then you will see the device that I the ETS file that I imported before ESL can zero three. That is in here. If the stack is one, then you will also see this device import from each VD ETS file. So what you need to do is select it and place it a drop into the network view. It may because I'm oh good. Then now you see that the sensor is connecting in is a drop inside your network. So now you need to connect your CAN open sensor to the CAN master. Here is a small blue icon. If you click on this, you see there's a can open icon here. It's a drop here to the uh, Wagu PLC. So wait a second. Now you can open interface. You can open network. It's built. Now here's the master and here's slave. Next, we need to make some combinations on the can open uh, on your slave side. Select your can open uh, node and right click it. Go to setting. And then in this step, you can see the where is this sensor come from, or is item number and descriptions. But this is not what I need to care. And then click the can open interface. Again, open settings. Here is a, a node ID. You need to set exactly what your sensor is. So in my case, it is 25. So in here, I need to set I need to set the um, no ID the same as here. It's 25. Just finish. Okay, this slave size finish. Then we need to set the master side. Do the same one. Select it. Right click. Settings. And go in the right in the right hand side. You this setting uh, screen. So go click the can open icon. Then here. There's the power weight you need to take care about it. In my case, I'm using 250k, so choose 250k, finish. Okay, now no network is config is finished. So what you need to do is go to the um, double click your node. Then you see on screen that you can make uh, make the STOs. STOs means service data objects, but it's not. The topic that I take care in this tutorial, and the next one can open our mappings. This one I will not I will take care in here. Don't worry, I explain why 
you have these five items in the edit file in my tutorial or in my blog. So you need to you just need to click the link and check why here is the PVFB and alarm state and alarm and every register. Um, now what we need to do is need to map the these variables inside your user program because in Coxis or Twinket or Twinket that if you don't map your uh, process I/O, I'll say this process I/O inside your user program, and also if you don't use these variables inside your user program, this data will not update. It's strange, but it's like this. So uh, here you know that it's a PVFE alarm status in your register. Okay, no problem. Go left hand side and program structure. Then maybe yes here you can see here it's a little bit like if you use coxis before then you see this a little bit like coxis because ecop is actually uh let's say software engine that will coxis 3.5 something so so it's the same uh and then i will create a dut first dut is data unit type it's not much but um although now in my case i only have one sensor oh sorry here i only have one sensor but what happens if I have two or three or four sensors? Did I need to create all the variables one by one again? No, I don't want to do this. And this is not convenient and very difficult for naming. So what I need to always to do, I will create a DUT data unit types to uh, group uh, many variables into one variables. Okay, so go to here, right click, DUT, and enter your DUT name. I uh, say it's the compound, a German compound, zero, 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 and stencil number is TSR, and uh, CAN, zero, three, and PTO, PTO is uh, process data objects, enter. Okay. So yes, screen I'll say my coxies. So what you need to do oh sorry is I have a screenshot here. PV is a INT. Okay. PV INT. Good. And then F E is UINT. F E UINT. So and then alarm status and air register is as USA USINT okay so uh, alarm status alarm status and uh, error register R E G I S T E R I think it's, it's my spelling is correct U U S U I N T S I N T I forgot data types U S I N T sorry U S I N T U O S oops U USINT. Good. Oops, sorry. And then you after you define the DUT, what you then need to do is go to program PLC underscore PRG. And then in the variable area, just define two variables with say DUT. Some D1, T1, 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 buffer. It's the data types we did before, and then file, and then and then uh, go to the programs program side, and just the one buffer is equal to the one. As I mentioned before, that you need to use them in the, your user program. If you don't use it as a coxis, we will not update the value. It's very, maybe this is strange, but it's like this. Okay, after you uh, connect your pro no create your program, what you need to do is go to program and compile it ok, no problem and then go back to click the applications and then uh, ah, sorry, go network device build, I made some mistake and go to network now you see the con click the connect buttons. If you click connect buttons, now the project and also the hardware configurations will download to the CPU. Connect. 
Yes, it means there's something I have uh, some parameters inside my CV before. Are you confirmed to override it or something? Yes. Okay, so password you say password R domain and your password. Yes. And go to here. Oh, you see now the can LED is turning green. It means the can your campus interface is start up. And but now you see here, but now you can see here the PLC underscore PLG is in red because now it's even stop not running status. What you need to do is here is the switch. Plus it to the run. Okay, now the can. The run LED is turning on, but also the can LED is turning on. So now the, the our CPU is running in run status, and the can open interface is activated. Now we I want to check the values. So how can I check? Let's go to PLC underscore PLG. Then uh, open the T one. Oh, sorry, I didn't map it. Oh, my make mistake. So now you see the. All the values become zero because you didn't map it inside your inside the uh, accommodations. Let me make it make uh, make it again. Let's disconnect it and go to the uh, what what do what I say? Uh, yeah, uh, network device and uh, networks and double click your node again. Go to can open IO mapping. The first one is PV. Just uh, click it and go to your applications and T1 and choose PV. And this one is FB. Okay, alarm status. This one's alarm status. The last one is uh, error state, error register. Okay, now all available is mapping. So go back to network, network view. And uh, connect to download all the parameters again. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Let's go turn again. See. Now some value change is going in. Oh, sorry. It's going in. And uh, it sends the state that's come from your sensor. The first one is the current process value. And the second one is the analog value. So I would like to really check is this value will be changed or not. So what can I do? I just here and then go to here. Just let the guys see this one. What we are doing now is I'll use my hand to touch my sensor. Touch the sensors. Okay, I will touch my sensor. You see the value is Increase the PV and FE is increased. Oh my god, my room's very hot, 34 degrees. Really, okay. So, when I don't touch it, it will be decreased again. Just wait a second. I hope it will decrease very soon. Yeah, sorry, maybe I guess my room's very hot, so it needs some time. But actually, now you know how to uh, config. They can open master in the Wago 6508215 PLC by using Ecobit. And also, not so difficult things. Don't forget the mapping and config the node ID and the communication byway. Then you should connect. You should build your config your uh, can open interface. Okay, thanks for you to uh, watch my videos. And if you like it, please give me a like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.